Former President Donald Trump is back on the campaign trail in Michigan exactly one week after an assassination attempt on his life. It was also Trump's first campaign stop since he announced his vice president pick, Ohio Senator J.D. Vance. Fox's Connor Hansen reports. Former President Donald Trump holding a rally for the first time since someone tried to kill him at a similar event just one week ago. Coming after an energetic RNC, former President Trump and his new running mate, J.D. Vance, are here in the crucial swing state of Michigan. Trump trying to keep his momentum, taking the stage Saturday in Grand Rapids, returning to the campaign trail while questions still swirl about the attempt to kill him in Pennsylvania. After a unifying RNC, the campaign is highlighting the uncertainty surrounding the top of the Democratic ticket. They have a couple of problems. Number one, they have no idea who their candidate is. And neither do we. Trump's new VP pick is a Midwestern native who wrote a book about his experience growing up poor in Appalachia. The campaign hopes his selection will help give them a boost with working class Rust Belt voters. Once a Trump critic, Vance now acts as his biggest supporter. Who could possibly reject the idea that four years of President Trump has been a hell of a lot better than four years of Joe Biden, right? Michigan is one of a handful of swing states seen as crucial to winning the White House this November. It narrowly went to Trump in 2016, but flipped back blue in 2020. Trump making his case urging voters to help him win it back. The other side's going around trying to make me sound extreme. They keep saying he's a threat to democracy. I'm saying, what the hell did I do for democracy? Last week, I took a bullet for democracy. After this event, the two will split up with J.D. Vance heading to events in Ohio and Virginia Monday. Donald Trump will go to North Carolina on Wednesday for a rally. In Grand Rapids, Michigan, Connor Hansen, Fox News.